YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here, back on the Hannibal at the Gates campaign, sitting outside Padavium where I'm about to get some very, very sweet revenge. My lord. Oh yes, the best kind of revenge. So, it looks like we can besiege the city. And I think we'll do so because I have Ballista. No need for me to wait. Uh, let's go ahead and assault the city. No need for siege towers here. I'll just use my ballista to punch a hole in the wall and destroy any local arrow towers that I'm concerned about. There is a victory point in the city, which is probably where the enemy will congregate. And they have reinforcements coming in by ship as well. Let's start the deployment and pick the best place to punch through. So here's their victory point be a fairly well defended location though we could punch through right here um, capture that arrow tower and then we should be in good shape so that's gonna be my main objective at this point uh, there's one other arrow tower right there that we can get rid of oh one of these is a Celtic ballista that I captured apparently okay let's bring all my men over here I'll bring the ladders just in case I need them but it's doubtful Okay, all my troops are here. Let's get things started. Let's see if we can punch a hole in the wall here. Enemy reinforcements approaching. They've got some ships just down the beach from me with some Celtic tribesmen. I imagine we could give them a swift killing. Alright, and we will bring this wall down. Get some nice damage on the wall. All I need is one hole, and I can uh, get through just fine. Wall's up to 45% damage. Got plenty of ammo with the ballista. Not sure where these Celtic tribesmen are planning to uh, disembark, but we will finish them off one way or the other. Yeah! Get some nice hits on that fort wall. It'll be destroyed in just a moment. And then I might actually turn my ballista and destroy some of these incoming ships, because, I mean, once I have a hole in the wall, there's very little that the enemy can do to, to stop me. Turn my ballista and prepare to fire on these incoming naval vessels. And I'm just going to wait for those tribesmen to get off the boat and I'll destroy them. Might as well destroy the enemy reinforcements here and now. What do we got here? I got some slingers, probably. Fire at will. As soon as those tribesmen finish disembarking surround and destroy them. There they go. They're off the boats. And my ballista ought to start sinking their their boats. These Celtic tribesmen are really no match for heavy cavalry. <laughs> Scoring some hits on some of those ships. Let's see, they're disembarking some troops here. Send some Libyan infantry to meet them. <laughs> They're, uh, my ballista are actually hitting my own ladders. It's blocking some of their shots. Let's pull back away. They do have one skirmisher ship that I can see. I'm gonna halt my ballista fire. Oh no. Yeah, you're not getting into the city. Noble 
Okay, we're gonna fall in in force here. Charge down those Celtic skirmishes. They shouldn't have anywhere to run. My Libyan infantry's got all these guys pinned down. Got my cavalry coming in. And we'll just bring our elephants here. Where are you going? Y'all don't want to play? Why are you running away, skirmishers? Alright, so my elephants are mowing down the Celtic skirmishers who thought they would be clever and tried to escape. Really? Kind of surprised that these... Oh, it's an oath sworn. I was getting ready to say, if that's a mercenary Celtic order, you're going to be kidding me. Wish I would have known it was an oath sworn. Should have paid attention. Because I could have uh, intercepted it with my cav or elephants. Okay, the rest of these guys over here are dead. And that oath sworn is now completely outflanked, so it's not going to last any longer. I wouldn't think that that oath sworn would have really still gotten that many kills, but whatever. It's broken and defeated. All right. Let's see. I'm going to pull my ballista up just a little bit and see if we can destroy that arrow tower. This one's going to be protected by the rock wall. But uh, I don't think that the computer will be able to stop me from getting in. They do have a lot of Celtic skirmishers here, but I may just run forward with Cav, bust through the breach, take out their skirmishers. Because I'm thinking most of their infantry is going to be awaiting me up here in the victory point. That seems to be their their mode of defense in recent times. Recent patches, I should say. Okay, my ballista are moving into position. And almost in position. We'll see if we can take out this arrow tower. It's kind of hard to hit them, actually. There we go. Let's see how my shots do here. Wow, actually got some pretty good shots onto it. Some of my men are apparently have a blocked line of fire because of the way I have them positioned. That's okay. Alright, let's see if I can finish taking out that arrow tower. The arrow towers get an absurd number of kills, so that's the only reason why I'm expending ammunition on it. The there we go. Tower has been destroyed. Um, honestly, don't think I can hit that tower. I might be able to if I come get a better angle on it. Though it might behoove me to just punch a second hole in the wall. And just call that good. Uh, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just spread my ballista out and punch another hole in the wall. We've got 31 minutes worth of battle time left, which is plenty. All enemy reinf... What the heck's going on out here? Got a hoplite that I accidentally sent on a fool's errand, apparently. Okay. Let's punch through the wall here. Up to 30% damage. We'll be able to bring down a whole, another whole section of wall, which ought to kill some more of these Celtic skirmishers. And if I have any ammo left, I'll do a little fire on that wall as well. Yeah, one more volley ought to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up my Libyans. The walls are breached. Bring up my hoplites, noble, fight, noble fighters, man. elephants, and let's get my cavalry ready to uh, punch through. Huh, those walls are destroyed but not breachable. It's kind of a waste of ammo. Why would you make walls that I can destroy but they don't fall down? Seems odd indeed. I guess I should have paid attention to where I was firing. Oh, my ballista got some good hits here. It's 
If possible, I'll be able to bring this back, or bring this down with my remaining ammo. Whoa, that guy just got clipped by a ballista. That's got to be painful. Oof. If my guys have quit missing, I might actually be able to bring this wall down as well. One of our units has used all its ammunition. <laughs> all right, sweet. So we have definitely punched through. Let's bring my cavalry in. Run down their skirmishers. If there's infantry nearby, I'll go ahead and retreat and uh, bring in my own infantry. See any infantry yet? You see a lot of Celtic skirmishers, and I'm gonna run them down. Getting some lag now. Alright, so all their skirmishers got run down. Those guys are taking off under the cover of a whole lot more towers, so I'm just going to let them go and I'll come back and get them. I'm getting a crap load of lag right now, so I apologize. Again, no idea why that's happening. Shouldn't be happening. Okay, let's get some hoplites up here to capture this tower. And let's get my swordsmen ready to assault the uh, victory point. Get my noble fighters up front. Okay, I don't care whether I'm going to get shot by the arrow towers or not. I'm not going to let their Celtic bowmen sit back here and shoot me. Yeah, run, run, run. You don't want to know what I've got in store for you. And this is just the beginning. The city is going to get completely destroyed. Yeah, enjoy your few kills there, Arrow Towers. Enjoy it. And they will get a few. More than a few, actually. Okay, both of those bowmen are shattered, so I can now pull my cab back. And here's what remains of their uh, pathetic force. I'm going to go Noble Fighters first. But I want the Noble Fighters to lead the charge. Is there an enemy oath sworn here? Nope, just a Spear Noble. So my Noble Fighters coming up on this Levy Freeman. We have captured a tower! Watch my men engage these guys. Sorry for the lag. This is stupid random lag. I'm not sure why this happens. It's really frustrating because it doesn't seem to happen whenever I'm not recording. So maybe it's something to do with that. Okay, your guys are blobbing up against my noble fighters. And for that reason, it's time to pop them into headhunt frenzy. Really start pouring on the damage. Take a couple Libyans through this courtyard. And I'll throw on some more Libyans here. I'll say we bring up my elephants as well. Really pour on the heat here. Got my elephants moving up as well. My sword infantry is definitely doing pretty well up here, but I'm under a lot of fire from those stupid arrow towers. Let's take a couple of units around to the other side of here and see if we can capture that arrow tower. Because they're causing me an absurd amount of damage. 
Look at that, man. The arrow tower is just whittling my guys down to nothing. What the heck's up with that pathfinding? No, I wanted you to go this way, please. Yeah, right through here. Like I told you originally. Let's bring in the war elephants, see if we can break the rest of these guys real quick. Go ahead and pull back this damaged sword unit. Ah, the rest of their units route, seeing my elephants in fear. And they should be afraid. I wish there was like an option on here, so you know how you have the options like uh, raise, loot, and occupy? There needs to be an option like destroy in such a manner that poets tell of it for thousands of years because that's honestly what I want to happen here. So we are going to loot, no, raise the city. Ready for further orders. Ready for battle. Yeah, run off you dirtbags. Run to the hills, run for help. How can I serve Carthage? I'll be right behind you. So the city was completely and utterly destroyed when I raised it to the ground, so get a nice good clean slate to build from here. I'll go ahead and build a muster field up here in case I need to take care of any business later on. All right. So it looks like we've managed to uh, put the Veneti to the sword for the most part. All men must serve. Let's run some military I sabotage here. Make sure these guys suffer even more. I have succeeded, my lord. I am a sage. I will walk the old tracks. All right, and then I'll see if I can get a hold of their agents on the next turn. The Tusk of Destiny can rank up. And we can open up Dread on this general as well. Should be a great feature to have. Hannibal's in control of Pisa. And let's see, in southern Italy... We can move to Croton. And the Romans don't have any real substantial threat here. So Croton will now be under our control as well. And we'll just have to tear down all these buildings and build them on the next turn when I actually have some money. Let's see. These guys can go ahead and move up to support as well. And what I'll do is uh, take Hasdrubal and we'll try and meet Hannibal at Rome. And I'll take this army uh, through Brutium and up into Samnium. And then we'll come down from the north. So Hannibal cut a swath through Tarquinii to Rome. And then uh, this other general up here will cut down the Adriatic coast and meet my other army. So we'll have a, a four-pronged assault of Italy here. So should work out really well. And then, of course, I'll have my, my army and fleet headed to Corsica and Sardinia. Which I actually kind of expect. There are some substantial defenders there. There goes a full-stack Roman army. In Italy, that's good. That means we might actually have some resistance. Don't want you all to see me just auto-resolving through the whole thing. My lord's offer is simple: trade. You have much. Nope, because your client stayed at Rome. So the only offer I would have accepted was become client state. think they're gonna attack me. <laughs> They've hired a bunch of mercenaries who are now feeling pretty confident in their ability to uh, strike me down. I would like to see them try. This will make a fitting end to this episode. These pathetic pukes got beat out of their city. I don't know what makes them think they can make it back in. They do have a ballista. Of course. I don't know where these guys get so many ballista, but... They've always got one. These guys are the masters of siege craft, apparently. There. 
I'm in range of their ballista from the outset. So I'll uh, destroy theirs. And honestly, gonna just keep my infantry back for a moment. And I'm thinking I might get my cavalry all over here and make a run out the gates and hit them from the flank. Let's get these started. I'm going to immediately open fire on their ballista. Unconcerned about their ladders at the moment. Really, rather just destroy their ballista. I think my guys got the first shot here. They did. Let's see what their shots end up doing. Good. Just destroyed two of their artillery pieces. Haven't lost any of my own yet. Just did there, though. Lost one. Alright, so they've only got one artillery piece left. I lost one. Ooh, kind of lucky I didn't lose that one. They've still got one left, darn it. Make sure they're not destroying mine. Nope. Solid miss. Come on. Yes! All right, now I can hit their ladder. Let's see if we can take it out. All right, here comes the ballista fire. I wish you could target the ladder specifically, though I cannot. I am doing considerable damage to their mercenary axe warriors. I did hit their ladder with that ballista shot. Another one too. It's possible I might end up destroying their ladder. I don't know how much how much fire it takes to destroy it. I would think a couple of ballista hits would actually destroy it. There we go. That ladder is destroyed. Let's aim for. I'm gonna aim for this ladder because these guys are a little bit beyond where I'd like them to be. And let's uh, prepare a special welcome party for our guests. So bring my Libyan infantry over. But we can destroy this ladder too. Killing quite a few of their spearmen in the process. Oh, what's wrong? Did air break your ladder? <laughs> Chomps. Let's see, are they going to try and burn the gates over here? It's possible they're going to go for a, a gate burning operation. <laughs> Spear warriors are getting absolutely shredded. It's rather entertaining. Alright, they are going to hit the walls with these ladders. I'll be ready to greet them, though. And it looks like my ballista are no longer getting any useful hits. So, target the enemy general. Go ahead and turn on explosive shot. Send them out in style. Huh, I was hoping that shot would bounce and actually hit someone. That would have been hilarious. Here comes the explosive shot. Nice. So that ought to be a nice way to finish off the enemy general. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, got my noble fighters ready to uh, greet these Celtic warriors. And again, here starts the random siege lag. Alright. Let's take these guys down. These guys are getting picked off of the top of the ladder by my... Uh, actually, I'm going to just hold off for a second. Let them come down yeah because my arrow tower is doing a good job picking them off all 
<laughs> Sweet. Keep firing explosive shot there, it'll be nice. They're gonna have to try and burn through the gates or continue to come up the ladders. Neither one is going to go well for them. My mercenary noble fighters are cutting down the enemy at a pretty, pretty fantastic rate. Surprised the enemy didn't choose the, uh, didn't choose to attack in the uh, rain. That's typically what they do. What do they got over here? Celtic skirmishers. They got some stupid Celtic skirmishers down here throwing their crap at me. He's gonna outflank, but I don't want to give him any free kills on those Libyan infantry. I'll just let my noble fighters finish mopping these guys up. Their Celtic warriors and axe warriors are lasting kind of, kind of a long time. That's okay. They're they're gonna die eventually. Trying to burn the gates over here, but they're under considerable arrow fire. Yeah, these guys over here are getting getting hosed with tower fire as well as getting beat down by noble fighters which are up to 100 kills already. These guys are fantastic. Wish I could get Lusitani nobles as Carthage. That would make me very happy. Oh look, they're going to send some Celtic skirmishers up the ladder. By all means. Let's welcome them to town. Only two of them crawling for some reason. <laughs> they're going to get shot off the uh, top of the ladder. Nice try though. I guess they're going to go back for a second attempt. I'm going to enjoy it if these guys keep crawling the ladder like two at a time and then getting picked off. It really is quite entertaining. Look at him. He's like, I'm going to throw a javelin at you. <laughs> Those guys fleeing. Come on, someone shoot. Oh, look, that arrow got stopped right there. He's throwing javelins back. Oh, that's right. He just got hosed. Ready to march. Oh, look. Now there's a big group of them coming up. Good. These guys getting hosed still by arrow towers. These guys are getting just picked right off the top of the tower. Why are they crawling up in groups? Uh, maybe the AI is trying to do an attack order. They are. They're trying to just come up and do an attack order. So their guys are stopping on top of the ladder and throwing javelins. They won't last too long. <laughs> Getting picked off up here one by one. How are they... What am I... Oh, my ballista had an attack order. They're trying to go through the gate. Yes, please don't do that. I didn't even know Ballista could go through a gate. Okay. Yeah, that was a pretty stupid mistake on my part. Didn't notice that my Ballista were walking out the gate, but okay, we've rectified that. Other skirmisher is going to start throwing a bunch of crap at my Ballistas. I haven't seen their skirmishers throw a lot of stuff over the walls before. That's fairly new behavior that I've seen from the AI. I haven't seen a lot of that. Keep burning the gate there, folks. you got a long ways to go. I'm going to fast forward and see if these goons are even capable of burning through the gate. It's unlikely. They'll probably just sit here and get picked to death by my towers. For some reason, my arrow towers here have stopped firing. That happens occasionally, like the arrow towers will just stop. But this one over here is still firing, so I am getting kills on these uh, Oathsworn. They are slowly damaging the gate, but if they break through, I'll be able to handle them. Plus, I have oil on the gatehouse, so these guys won't be coming through without taking very heavy losses. Let's see, mercenary noble fighters are regaining their stamina. go ahead and use my uh, second wind on the noble fighters, get them ready just in case the enemy manages to get through the gates. 
Let's see, over here they're up to 44% fire damage, which, if my towers would fire, this would help rectify a lot of that. But that's okay, I'm getting a lot of kills from the towers anyway, so... I'll bet you I could um, act like I'm going to charge through the gate real quick, get them to move, and my towers will probably start firing again. Yep, there we go. Uh, you can come back inside now. Yes, when I say come inside, I really mean come inside. You see, like, that, that move order I'm giving you to go inside? Yes, there you go. There we go. Kind of tricked my towers into firing again. Temporarily distracted the enemy as well. <laughs> Over here, the AI has not been so lucky. They're still trying to burn down a gate and not doing so well. Look, they used uh, Frenzy and Headhunt on that unit as well. Got mercenary axe warriors and short swords appear. I wonder if my Numidian nobles would be able to fire over a wall. Huh, apparently they can't. Uh, I guess some of them can. Let's um, let's dismount them, As you wish. and I'll put them up here on the wall. Oh, well, the AI is actually going to burn through this gate, I think, but not before I cause them a little more pain. Oh, I just turned skirmish on. No, I actually meant to dismount. Yeah, AI is not going to get anything done over here other than get shot. Though I do believe they'll actually end up burning this gate to the ground. If they manage to keep it up. Defensive positions. I'm going to bring up my uh, Numidians and let them throw some javelins off the walls. Since I can't seem to do it from horseback. I've never used these guys as foot skirmishers before, but they're pretty sweet looking foot skirmishers and pretty powerful ones. <laughs> Let's watch the effects of my uh, Numidian Noble Cav giving it to these guys trying to burn the gates. <laughs> oh man, it is gruesome. I'm seeing lots of javelins to the face. And apparently the enemy general was one of them. Look at that guy, he's got him sticking through his shields, he's like... Still hanging tough. Really looks like he's wearing a prison garb. Well, whatever he's wearing, it's covered in blood now. Might need to send it to the laundry. Wow, those Numidians are really feeding it to these guys. That's awesome. Freaking love javelins on this game. <laughs> Let's see how my Numidians are doing on ammo. They have quite a bit of ammo. Able to rack up almost 60 kills from javelins, so that'll help soften up the enemy a little more. They are going to burn through the gate, I believe. Well, I don't know. They're not really making a lot of progress. They don't seem to keep throwing their javelins. Wish there was a place for me to regain ammo in a siege battle. That'd be kind of cool if there was like a weapons storehouse or something where your men could uh, go recharge their ammo. Alright. Well, you can go ahead and go remount. Some of my mercenary Numidians doing a great job there, hurling out a ton of javelins. <laughs> AI is uh, completely incompetent when it comes to uh, sieging, apparently, because these guys are just going to end up getting shot down by my towers. Sorry that this episode's a little bit boring. I'll just kind of let this play out. Anyway, hopefully my uh, sieges of Italy will go better. Apparently the AI counter-sieging is never a good idea, but at least this will feed a whole bunch of losses to the enemy troops, and then I'll just hunt them down on the following turn. This will kill off most of their mercenaries and everything that they hired. Part of me kind of wants to go out and face them, but I'm not really sure I need to. I'll just let my arrow towers cut them down. Oh, look, they're actually throwing torches again over here. I really wish these guys would burn the gate down. I want them all to get roasted with burning burning oil. 
It would really make me happy, but I don't think they're going to manage to do it. And then over here, I don't even know if they've thrown a torch in the last 20, 30 minutes. The guy's just sitting there. Occasionally throwing a javelin up and over the wall. But it looks like they're getting stuck in the ladder. So I guess they're just doing some target practice for the heck of it. Honestly think that I could just take my uh, elephants out and finish these guys off. I think I will, actually. Elephants. I think it would be merciful of me, actually, to finish them off with the elephants. <laughs> They're down here taunting me like they want to fight. Like, oh, come on, why don't you come out and fight us? Uh, okay. I can handle that. Let's uh, open the gates and show them what I've sent to face them. <laughs> Through the smoke comes a horde of elephants. Are they throwing torches at my elephants? That's a new one. The battle is turning in our favor. Though I'm sure my own arrow towers will probably cause a lot of damage. I think they're throwing torches at my elephants. They wanted so badly to burn down the gates, and then when I opened it, I don't think they were pleased with what I sent out. So yeah, my uh, African elephant's dealing these guys a considerable amount of pain. And that should be it. They're going to uh, route. I'm going to pull my elephants away from all that tower fire, which is probably just hitting my own guys. I don't know if you can take friendly fire from the towers, but it wouldn't surprise me. And I think that it's time we bring... Uh, Bring the elephants out over here as well. Time we go pay the uh, Celts a visit. Elephants ready for battle. New Midian, okay, elephants. we'll do the same thing over here. They wanted the gates open, so by all means, let's open the gates. Our general is under attack. Okay. General is fully engaged. He has taken some fire from these Celtic skirmishers back here. So I want to try and move on to them. Yep, looks like we've caught them because the enemy troops are wavering. And it looks like that is going to be the end of the Venetti's precious attempt to retake my city. I guess it was merciful of me to send the elephants out and save them from being picked off one by one by my arrow towers and hopefully save you all from the monotony of it. I apologize for that, but I don't guess there's much I can do about the AI's inability to siege appropriately. But even had they crawled up the ladders and tried to take the city, I would have been able to beat them back. So not really sure what made the AI think they had any chance there. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. Uh, I'm going to let the turn end, and then I will uh, be back uh, soon with more episodes. Air of Carthage, signing off for now.